So I'm just going to do a, a very quick introduction to uh, setting up a Dreamweaver template. And uh, as part of that, we actually have to create a Dreamweaver site, to, uh, which is basically a folder on our computer. We're going to store all the files in. And if you go site drop down menu manage sites, you'll see if you have any sites done or set up. I'm going to create a new one site. I'm going to go uh, test site next. No for technology. Done. We'll connect to it. I choose general choose none. And done. And done. And that creates just a new sort of site where we'll be able to save files. So the very first step we do is we do a brand new HTML file. And this typically will be your index.html file. Uh, as you do all your maybe your, your slicing up and, and your layouts and, and so on. So I have uh, some HTML code here. Uh, we have our main head area. We have our uh, our header, our navigation. We have our main content. Oh, then the footer area. If we take a look at the design, we can see that we have the header and navigation, the main content, and the footer area. So I want to use is Dreamweaver template functionality to split out these particular areas to separate the content uh, from the repeatable content uh, across our website. So to save this as a template, go file, save as template, and I'm going to call it my template, and hit save. When we save that, you'll see all the Dreamer should do is add in some extra comments in our header areas. Now, Dreamer adds in two extra ones for doc and title and for the head. I prefer to, uh, to merge these into one. So I'm just going to do a bit of copy and paste them. And I'm going to put this around the content that will change, such as the title and the metadata information. Like so. So we can see here we have our template begin information for the head. And that means we'll be able to edit these three lines from page to page. For the main content area, we need to go insert, template objects, and editable region. And I'm going to go main content. And it puts in these comment areas. Now these are HTML comments. These won't appear when you're viewing the website. They're pretty much just sort of comment areas. But Dream will recognize the codes and it will uh, it will know what's intelligent information between these. So we have uh, our header area and our content area. If I take a look at the design side of things, I'll see that our main content area is highlighted here in a blue box. So we have our header, our editable content, and our footer. And let's go save. So what I want to do now is create a new page based off that. So file new, and I come down page from template, and I picked up my template here, and go create. Uh, what it does is it uh, immediately you'll notice in the design view you can't actually select or click anything outside of the editable area. You can. edit in, but you can't actually edit this, the footer or the header or navigation. If I save this, I'll save it as index.html. If I take a look at the code, it's the same with the code. Dreamweaver won't even let you create or edit the content outside of the areas you specified. So this is our home page. And for the main content, we'll see if we can edit that as well. It adds in these tags here, and we can see it's referenced in templates, my template, uh, and so on. You'll see that it, it referenced that. If I wanted to remove or edit some of the, any of the gray information, I could do that carefully with Notepad. But uh, it's referenced in templates. It's see, we'll see in our, in our test site area here that we have our my template folder and so on. So I can save this. If I want to go file new, 
uh, we'll create another and let's call this products I can do it from the design and so on products if I open up my template and go to the code if I edit in the template file I will of course be able to edit the navigation and so on and other information maybe such as author and I can save when I save that it actually knows because of it in the site up whether to not update all the files if I choose don't update I can go modify templates and I can go update pages here. It will pick up the entire site, it will update uh, files and we can see the files that it updates. If I would open up the products page I'll see that the navigation is updated and so on for the index page as well. common thing is maybe for our products page we'd like a sub navigation menu and it's only to appear on a, product, on, on a products page, but we might have three or four products page. What we can actually do is we can add in an optional area into our template and we can tell what page to have that on. So I'm going to go back to my template and I'm going to come to a new line. I want to go insert template objects optional region and I'm going to call this products nav. I'm not going to show by default because I, I only want it on the navs page or the products page and I'm going to click OK. What it does is it adds in an extra template code for me and what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to go um, product1 and um, product2. So I've added in maybe a very basic products navigation into the main template. Now as well as adding in these tags, if in the head area, Dreamweaver added in one line called a template parameter, products nav, boolean, and, a and the default value for that is false. So I'm going to go save and I'm going to choose to update all the other pages and close. If I go to the index page, I'll see that we have this one line added in our products nav and it's false, but we won't see our products navigation here. If I go to the products page, I will see that it doesn't have the sub navigation. If, however, I change the value to true for this page, and if I go modify template update current page, or if I do an update all pages, it'll be the same. I go update current page, it adds in that extra navigation for me, like so. Now I still can't edit it because if I want to edit it, I come back to the main template and I'd maybe add in. And this is the power of templates in Dreamweaver. I can choose update, it examined files, it updated one because it had the uh, the conditional option in the uh, in the header. I look at the product; it will have updated. So, another example is just to show again a little more. Uh, if I just go and co and copy, 2011. If we update the footer area, we can go update, and it'll update all the files inside here. So, removing the month, and if I take a look at the index page it will have updated on the products page as well. So using Dreamweaver uh, templates which are actually easy enough once you understand the codes involved, uh, the head code, uh, parameters for uh, maybe sub navigation elements for particular pages and then the begin if codes. If you had a different navigation sub navigation for a different page Maybe for the contact uh, for the contacts page, uh, you know it's more efficient uh, doing all sub, -nav sub navigations in the in the template rather than having to co copy and paste this onto if you had three or four products page. 
Uh, so this is an overview for uh, for Dreamweaver templates. Uh, the blog post website at sbrock.ie forward slash blog will have a little more information as well.